right, let's talk about fuel consumption. So I had that all leveled out, measured off, and did half liter increments. So this will hold about four liters. And yesterday, while flying it, I had it fill between two to two and a half liters, probably 2.25. And that got me 20 minutes of flight. And you gotta think, I'm a bigger pilot. And so I had to give it a lot of gas on takeoff. Anytime I wanted to climb out, I was full throttle for most of that. Now, a smaller pilot may not have to waste as much gas just staying in the air like I did. I was on a single surface glider. It doesn't take as much thrust to keep that single surface in the air. But again, I am a bigger pilot. So you're gonna have to factor in those variables. If you had a more efficient glider with a lighter weight pilot, you're probably looking at 20 minutes would get you anywhere from 1.75 to two liters. Since I'm a bigger pilot, I had to give it more gas. I was anywhere from two to 2.25 liters in consumption for that 20 minute time period. I'm now running 40 to one. So it recommended 30 to one on the break in. In the manual, it said you could go to 50 to one. I'm kind of sketched out with that. I don't want to jump all the way to 50 to one. I want to check those spark plugs, kind of see if I'm running too rich or too lean. So I'm going to kind of go in stages right now. So I've done 30 to one, looked at the spark plugs, everything looked good. Uh, we're going to move up now to 40 to one and see what happens with that. But I've got to repair this thing. I also want to look at tethering this down because I definitely don't want the fuel tank to impact the prop and I don't want to catch on fire mid-flight. So we're going to look at some different systems to tether this down and just add an extra level of security.